let's go to business now with Madison Reedy. So Madison, uh, well, kind of surprise with Spark's chief executive, Simon Muta, announcing he's out. Why is he leaving? He announced he was out this morning. So he announced his resignation uh, immediately in the same release. Uh, they also announced his replacement, which is a woman called Jolly Hodson, who's actually from within Spark's current management ranks. She's the chief customer officer and previously has actually been Spark's chief financial officer too. Now this was a bizarre, I guess in a way, announcement because the market hadn't been told or warned that Simon was even looking at departing or that a search for his replacement placement was underway. He says that he's leaving uh, because he wants to spend time with his family. He doesn't quite know what he's going to do next. He didn't announce that either. Uh, but he has been there for seven years and that's quite a long stint for any chief executive of any company. And over that time he has done quite a lot. He first steered at uh, I guess in a way dissecting from Chorus to become a standalone telecommunications giant. He then led its rebrand from telecommunication, sorry, from, from telecom, mm. which it was once called, that seems like a lifetime ago now. So he led its rebrand through to Spark. He also has recently introduced its agile working environment. Now that's an ongoing restructure that the new chief executive is going to have to pick up and run with too. Uh, recently also the Huawei debacle where he said that, uh, that Spark wanted to be the first to roll out 5G and they obviously hit some hiccups there which will certainly be ongoing too. And also Spark Sport, it seems like that was his last play for Spark. He ruthlessly started uh, bidding for some broadcast rights. That seemed like quite the direct assault on Sky Television because they nabbed the Rugby World Cup rights off them. And it seems like to us that this is quite the end of an era for the telecommunications industry. We recently had the Vodafone chief executive, Russell Stanners, step down. And just recently, John Follett, the chief executive and then director of Sky Television, has stepped down too. Mm, interesting. Um, and new commodity price figures are out today. What did they tell us? Uh, they are. And we. Uh, it, it seems that the world is paying more for our uh, largest and most crucial commodities. So the ANZ World Commodity Price Index rose 2.1% in March and that's on the back of a 2.8% rise in February and then a 2% rise in January. So they've been rising quite significantly this year. Now that's after a quite negative 2018. Now the growth in prices lately has largely been driven up by uh, higher dairy prices globally. Uh, so they've been rising since November when global mm. production went low, classic supply and demand situation less supply, demand remains the same, they can charge more for it. But overnight as well, we did have the Global Dairy Trade Price Index, uh, that auction there, uh, that growth there had slowed. So there was a weaker and softer growth in our global dairy prices. So the question remains to be seen whether or not this growth in our largest exports uh, can continue. Economists seem to think that it can. And what about the rest of the markets in our dollar today? Uh, the NZDX Top 50 Index closed up 2%. That's a rise of 19 points to close at 9,939. Another record high. <laughs> Spark's share price fell today, actually, on the news of their chief executive. Their shares fell 3% to $3.65. Uh, the New Zealand dollar is buying at 67.7 US cents, 95.4 to the Australian and 51.5 British pence.